everyone, it's Bao Tran. I wanted to show you my orchid haul from the Pacific Orchid Expo. So first of all, these are the baby orchids, the baby Catleas that I got. And these were actually $10 each, but they are, um, I believe, three for $25. So I decided I would just get three. This one is the one that my sister picked. This is the Labio Catlea Cariad's Mini Queenie Angel Kiss. And this is how big they are. They aren't that big, but they aren't that small either. This one is the Mini Song Petite. I picked this one. It has these, um, I think like dark purple, I'm sorry, dark pink uh, stripes on them. They look like they're in really good condition. I did have to water them because their roots were so dry. And I watered them and the roots became green right away. So I watered them yesterday. I'm going to pop them today. And I'll do a separate video of the potting for you. Some of them already has new growth, which is really great. This one is the Green Veil Dressy Orchid. Now, this one is a green orchid. There was another one that was green, but the lip was not that great. Like, it, it was, I think the lip was also green. But this one, the lip is white with a bit of pink right here. And that makes it special. So I picked this one instead. But this one is the, let's see, Christensonia Vietnamica. This is a species orchid. It was found in Vietnam. My sister actually purchased this for me. She wanted to purchase it because it was named after Vietnam. And we're Vietnamese. I really cannot talk today. I did not realize that it was a species. So I'm really excited because I, uh, it's actually more special to me now that it is a species. Bleh. Wow. Okay, it's more special to me now that it's a species. Out of all my orchids, I don't think I have any species. So this one is really, really small. But this one can actually grow to be pretty big. It was $10. It's pretty expensive. But I do have high hopes in this one. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grow this the way the Vandas are grown. It is... Uh, in a pot right now so I'm thinking I might make oops might make like a mini baskets for it this is the Vanda Pachera Pachara delight I really 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 wanted a Vanda orchid unfortunately they are so 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 expensive the large size was about $60 or more the medium size was either 40 or 60 and this is a tiny size that's the orchid and that's my hand it's small whoops it's windy so pachera delight <sighs> i don't know how long it's gonna take to become blooming size but it was $12 and I cannot believe it's $12 because it's so, so tiny. So for $12, I got that. Maybe in three years. <sighs> yeah, I'm like so upset. <laughs> I guess there were some people there that purchased the large plants, which I cannot afford. So I just did not even try to tell myself that I should get it. I just got myself the small one. And I'll just have to have patience with it. I'll make a little tiny basket for it so it can sit in. It'll be okay for now. But yeah, I have a lot of smaller orchids this time. I didn't get any big one and maybe it's for the better because I don't have any space for it. This is the green orchid. I'm going to post the name for it because um, I really cannot pronounce it. I'll also post a photo for it so you guys can see it but this is a hybrid not a species 
and I think this one can grow to be pretty big. So these are actually, I got two Dendrobium Spectabili orchids. Correct me if I'm pronouncing it uh, incorrectly, but these are the two orchids that I got. Um, one of them is $10 and one of them is $7. They are quite expensive, but they have lovely, lovely flowers. And this is a Dendrobium spectabili aureum. This is a species, New Guinea species. Wow, I really need to learn how to pronounce stuff, but, um, ah! I'm just having a disaster today. <laughs> I'm so sorry. When I picked the one that's more bushy, I really wanted something that was, um, that was more um, grown than a lot of the other ones because some of the other ones that were sold were like half this. They didn't have that many pseudobulbs. So I'm gonna have to repot that one too. As you can see, it's pretty small. That's my hand. That's the orchid. Pretty small, but it has some new growth here. Yeah, and also here and here. So three new growths. Not bad. This one is also a um, Dendrobium spectabili, but it's a different variation. Oh, I saw the samples for these. These grow to be pretty, pretty big. Mm, I think the samples were like two feet tall. They were pretty huge. So I do have high hopes for these guys. This one was a bit cheaper. That's the new growth. And I believe that's a new growth. So this one and this one, new growth. I did not get the Dendrobium microchip. That was a slightly bigger size. So this is the smallest size that they had. This is a Dendrobium aberrans crossed with little atro. It's a hybrid. It's very compact. And then the little, uh, I believe the microchip is the one that is slightly taller. And then there was another version that was taller. But this one's already $10 for a, a very tiny one. The medium sized one, the microchip was about 15 and then there was also the $20 one. This one, I picked one that was, um, that has flowers already. And then I also got, this one only has a spike, but it hasn't bloomed yet. So I'm hoping that they will not, um, have a bud blast. They came all the way from Hawaii to San Francisco and now to my place. So it's been a rough, um, rough time for them. There you go, these are spotted. Yeah. And stripies. I do like stripies and spotted orchids. My sister does not. That's fine. So I really, really wanted one of these orchids because I heard such good things about them and um, the fragrance and everything. Yeah, and they smell, they smell wonderful. And then I realized that I have an orchid very similar to this, but not quite the twinkle. And it smells just like the twinkle. I haven't been able to ID it yet. I do like the scent. But these have been blooming for a while, so unfortunately. Yeah, all the spent flowers are down there. I have on my wish list the Zygopetalum orchid. This one does smell wonderful. I've I put it in my car for a few hours and it made my whole car smell wonderful. So I actually picked the biggest one. I picked um, one that was already growing out of its pots. So that's Lily <laughs> running around. But it is due for repots. Um, and I don't know, I'm actually considering if I want to divide it because it does have new growths and I believe, um, seven pseudobulbs. It, I got this for $25. It's actually pretty big. 
It's like a medium size cymbidium. Mm, beautiful, beautiful flowers. This is the biggest one that they had. There were some that were about half the size and they were sold for about $20. And I was thinking, no way. I got this one. When I go to the orchid show, I realized that um, some of the vendors are cheaper than others. Um, the ones in Hawaii. Uh, there was an H&R nursery. I recommend you guys go there. They have very cheap prices compared to other places. So there it is. I love the way the flowers are. And this is one of my favorite orchids and I really, really wanted to get it. And now I have it. That's pretty much all for my orchid haul. Um, if you guys would like to see more videos of this, please subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.